Well, we are here now. We are here. We are here. We are here. I forgot what that is from. If you have no idea who I am and I'm just some random guy yelling at you on your screen all of a sudden that you clicked on for TA, my name is Christian Israel, and we are here every single morning, 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. in a podcast called Christ and Crypto. Whether you're listening to this now on your in, in your car or on your phone or one of the multiple podcasts, or you're watching me scratch my nose over and over right now on YouTube because I have a little itch here from my cat. I'm allergic to cats. Here's what I found. That's Siri saying, here's what I found. Well, let me tell you what you found. You found a place where we talk about TA every single morning. And this is no different. This is long, some short, some. We're going to dive into Axie today. We're going to dive into Bitcoin today. Look at Doge real quick. XRP as usual and Ethereum and Litecoin. Just a quick little look over uh, to see where we are today. So let's see. People got really excited about all the little pump action yesterday. And of course, we have to have a pullback now. So as you hit that like button or you comment or you subscribe or you hit the notification bell so you can be notified when we go live here on YouTube or when the podcast is released, now that you've done that, let me do my part. Here we go. Bitcoin in the number one spot at $39,784, down 1% over the last hour. Ethereum, $2,946 in the number two spot. And the BNB is still under 400 at the number three spot at 394.21. Terra Luna, 95.33 in the number four spot this morning. Solana in 97, $97.96 in number five. XRP fell out of the top five. Number six now at 66.4. Looking to hit that support area for us right now on this back test before we take off. And we'll discuss that. Cardano in number seven at 86.24. Doge at 15.3 after its massive fire up over the last couple of days. Polka Dot. Ooh, look at that. It's switched. Polka, dot, uh, Polka Dot's a nine now. Sorry. Why? I just no, I don't want to, Siri. Why do you keep talking? I'm taking Siri off now. I don't know. She just wants to talk to me. She feels unloved. <laughs> Polka Dot is at 1745, and Avalanche in the number 10 spot overall is at 69.52. So without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and jump right on into Bitcoin. Now, I reset this here yesterday, guys, okay? I reset this. Let me see, big screen, there we go. I reset this yesterday, fade that out, boom. Okay. Because my channel here was a little different, I had touch, and actually yesterday I had it touching the bottom of the channel, but I wanted to extend it and correct it a little bit more because, I don't know, there was a possible more, a little more down move and I feel like it's not supposed to break the channel. So I took a step back and looked over my TA yesterday. Um, and last night. Now, I kept trying to get in a short last night. I actually have a signals group that I was sending signals out for um, and shorting yesterday. Okay, we were shorting yesterday. No, this is on the daily. So let me let me zoom in for you real quick. After this thing long, after this thing long yesterday, whoop, fired up. Okay, I got the doge long. We killed the doge long. And then I began to try to short. Well, it it messed me up a little bit on the short side, so I had to close them all out because it wicked twice, back up to back up to forty thousand eight hundred dollars twice. Um, so I had to close those shorts out. Not very happy that I had to close those shorts out, but you know what ended up happening? What's crazy is the short played out immediately <laughs> this morning, and so it's one of those things that you just have to be patient on the shorts. And here's what I've really noticed, and this is not financial advice not financial advice okay this is my personal thing when i take my stop loss off and i give myself some room you know 5x 6x right and your your stop loss is deeper right not a 20x without a stop loss that'd be stupid well, you know when you got some room here and these kind of things i'm gonna start taking it off and just me why because my shorts if i take my shorts and my longs if i take stop losses off i'm gonna tell you this is insane I'm, I'm close to a hundred percent hit. Okay. Like 96% hit without stop losses to my targets. Okay. And now why is that? Because it takes time to play out. So when I have a stop loss, you know, the whole thing is you're supposed to short resistance. So it comes up to the pivot, right? You're supposed to short this. However, you're not supposed to give yourself, you know, more than two to 3%, you know, can, can crush you in a, in a long or a short position. So when this does that 1% move, 
right, which is $500, and say you are one Bitcoin short, right? You're now down $500. Or if you're two Bitcoin short, right, $1,000, so forth and so on. So you got to be very careful when you, because those 1% moves are liquidation moves or price stop moves. So I closed out my stops last night and said, you know, I'm not going to watch this. I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to, you know, clean up the house a little bit. And then lo and behold, this morning, uh, was it right now? Let's see. Let's get on the two hour, uh, one hour. Yeah, here we go. Boom. Three o'clock this morning actually started working its way down, hit the double top. And I just said, you know what you hit? And I just got out in this area. It hit again. I was like, okay, maybe I'm good to go. And now it's broken below this area. Now it is back testing currently our previous breakout area right here. This is where we are. I'm still, you know, I was shorting my short, to be honest, was to come down to 37.8. That was my short from yesterday, 40,000 to 37.8. So I'm still going to look at this position. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give a fib here and see, we have rejected from that 50, right? Boom. And this is why I was shorting because it's also the pivot to the 50. And I'm like, okay, we can try to figure this short aspect out. So this is something I'm going to be watching. If we get a back test back of uh, under this pivot, right, of 40,300, that will be my entry to look for a short, okay? So if we can get back to this pivot right now one more time, 40,300, I will look for a short and give it a shot. Um, this is looking very wave one-ish, okay? Here's another idea, okay? Or you can wait for if this is wave one. Let's let's talk about a couple possibilities. Okay. I don't have I don't really want to die. Let's just focus on on Bitcoin real quick. If this where is my Elliot? Okay. That looks more like an ABC. Anyway, I know this is supposed to be one, two, three, four, five. Now let me actually put that on so you can see the wave structure. Okay. If that's five, one, two, three, four, five. It's to be a really small three, which, so I don't really think that does because uh, that's not really how that works. So let's do this. Let's, let's get, let's be a little smarter. I'm going to say this A, B, C. We'll give that a shot. Okay. Say that's an ABC. And then we have wave one here, an impulse wave. Now we're looking at a pullback for wave three, which is really the best place to get in. Or if it's ABC and ABC. So this is kind of like, oh, what's happening? So here's what we look for. If this area holds and it begins to turn around and we'll go, we'll go to 30 minute. Okay. Cause this is still playing out right now. If this area begins to hold and I will show you what I am referring to. Okay. Let me do this. Where am I, where are you at brush? I uh, struggling this morning. If this area begins to do this and you see kind of a rounding like this, right? I don't even know if it'll be that quick, uh, that long, because this is 30 minutes. So if we see like a rounding and it kind of rolls up and we see that happening right there, right? Not so, not so much of this wick stuff, not that, but just a round off of the actual, a round off of the actual movement. I will be looking to enter into this box, okay? This is actually not a bad entry point now because it has to come back, touch this wick. It's back in this area. So if I'm really willing to take a chance right now would be a great long, but we want to see this play out. It's nine 14 in the morning. A lot of market movements. There's a lot of tech took a big hit yesterday. So we want to see how this continues to play out. It's dropped right back into this area. We're okay with this. I'm pretty sure the Dow Jones is firing up today. I mean, if it hasn't, it should. Um, I haven't looked yet. I don't have my CNBC on. I've got Bloomberg on. I've been watching kind of worldly news in the mornings, which you guys see that I do that here before the show. So that's what we're looking at in Bitcoin. I am being very, very careful because I know what we're looking at long term as far as this chart. Now, let me show up. Okay. As far as this plays out, we're looking at this play out. And I, I spoke about this on a live yesterday not this live one three four we're on wave five coming into a retrace okay 
And I believe that our retrace is 58,000. I think that's our top for Bitcoin. 100% that is the top. But we're going to have to grind all of this stuff out. Okay, let me drag this over. We're going to have to grind this out. And I do believe the 2.414 is in play, which is 49,772. And then the 1.414 is 44,973. So these are areas I am watching, but I don't have a feeling it's going to happen overnight. I am looking for grinding up. And I keep saying this. So we're going to head up to this direction now, right? And this kind of, is this what's going to happen? You know, right? And then break down. Like, is this, as you can see, is this what we're going to get? All the way down as we finish this final wave and grind and then come on down at the end of the year or the beginning of the calendar for the federal government, which is our fourth quarter is their first quarter. Okay, so this is what we're possibly looking at um, with Bitcoin. So as we see and zoom in here, I need to make another chart, but I'm not going to right now. I'm spell a little lazy. I'm going to make, uh, as we zoom in here, audio, boom. Okay, it's all that squiggly lines over it. Boom. Now we're in here. We're watching it play back down. I'm going to go even on the 15 minutes to get a better idea. Okay. We're watching it play down to the pivot. So 38,890, if this breaks down, to say, hey, this is wave one. Okay. Let me get rid of that because we don't need that. To say, if this comes down, this could be wave one. So this could be wave Boom, right? Wave one can come all the way down to here. 99%. Okay. And still, which is this, and still fire up for a major three. Okay. So we got to be very careful when we're watching this. I'm going to keep an eye on this because I'm ready. I'm ready to find that long. But right now, these people got trapped and we're going to get down here for the people that are shorting. Okay. Uh, same with XRP. XRP is coming to its point right now. I sent out a signal and I'm, I'm not happy about it, but it depends what you do. I said, go ahead and get in at 69, have a, a stop loss at 64, but this is not a margin trade. It's just long the whole long. But with that said, that's just a huddle call, right? Who cares? I'll get in a huddle if you didn't get it at 64. If it pulls back today, awesome. If it doesn't, you don't have to worry about it. But now we are getting a full I mean, a full pullback. Um, and that's crazy because I really tried to short this yesterday. And those wicks, because they had a stop loss on, was not not the kindest to me. So we are down here now. I'm actually looking again at, shoot, I'm about to look at this area right now uh, for, for a long. If this keeps coming on down here to uh, 65.9, let's see. I might just watch this right now. Let's zoom on in. Are you coming? Are you coming down to finish this move? Look, we sixty six five two would uh, is is our VPVR. It still looks like it's break. We got Bitcoin coming on down for that move. Okay, look, see, now this is kind of a live thing right now. So we're waiting to see if I'm actually. Man, I I didn't want to be in a long a super long uh, TA today, but our actually movement is happening right now into this box. So. Doge is holding pretty well. We caught this yesterday. There's not a lot to talk about. We talked. We caught that whole thing. Again, I tried to short at 15. Uh, everything took an extra little blow off top yesterday. So although I got my longs in, my shorts were early. Uh, that's annoying to me. The shorts are early, but lesson learned because we're getting close to blow off tops of this range. So you got to be very careful because for this to pump north, it can grind north. This has to get liquidity. That has to get the people who are uh, shorting or selling um, get their money into the market. So that's what I saw that yesterday doing. Ethereum still doing the same thing, working these areas that we have been speaking out for days, weeks now. Resistance, resistance, rejection, rejection. But here's the good thing. You guys know that on the larger scale, this is the 4.414, 28.8. We would like this to hold. We would like this to hold. However, that rejection on the 0.5 here 
on this move, 48.58 down to 21.58, we just officially had a rejection at their point five of 35,000, I'm sorry, 3,508. Now, when this rejects our next target, and I'll show you, let me bring that up so we can actually, oh, it's not the right one, is it? It's because this is the rejection. Boom. Here we go. So if I put the 414 on there, we're going to see that we should be already be below it. Rejection. So is there a good chance? You guys, we really, you guys really, we want this to hold because this is what I'm looking at next, which is $23,000, $22,300. Okay. $2,300. Um, and I am, mm, I don't like saying that. And I'm, I don't like being bearish. I really don't like being bearish. However, here's our VPVR. It's rejected again. Now it's under the second set of sandcastles. Rejected again. So the next space is this sandcastle is $2,600. Knowing us, we'll get a wick and a flash crash. So am I, like, I'm just going to be honest. I'm just got to be honest with you. I don't like what I'm seeing in the charts at all as far as failed support goes. Now, let me show you a positive. So I did this yesterday. This is XRP. I did this yesterday. I took this fractal I did just yesterday. That's, guys, that's a, a bigger, that's this fractal here, copied it out. And I just wanted to stretch this in here and just set it right in there off yesterday. I don't know why I just had the hint. So I was like, let me check this. So I went ahead and, and lined this up with the fractal to see if we got something close here, guys. And and this is this is going to amaze you. Bring this up, let that fall in. And it's not exact science, right? But we're pretty close to that parabola. See how that moves? See how this I know it's it's a it's a, this is a little stretched out, right? So if I took this, I'm gonna stretch this out a little bit. Right, to, to kind of match time. This is what we're looking at. Look at that. Okay. So what do you think? I mean, this is fire up here, and this is just some kind of concept and idea for the next set of moves, temporary anyway. This fires us up to seven dollars and eighty-one cents, uh, which is actually the two point four one four. And this is something interesting that I found if which you know me, I'm about the two point four one fours as a finishing of a move all the way back that this thing is actually back testing the 0.5 after back testing on that move the 0.4 okay so when i put that in here i normally don't do fractals right like this we did this a while ago determining that bitcoin would not break a hundred thousand dollars before we really dove into it and kind of let it play out but now that we've had some experience fractaling right? Fractaling. It sounds like we're fracking. Fractaling, <laughs> Fibonacci, right? Elliott waving, understanding how this plays out. You can see here that this line right here, and I'll get rid of, let me get rid of some of these because it's getting sloppy for you. Okay. We're understanding that this long line here, that all that is, is this slower. Where this happened in two months, <clears throat> this happened in almost a year. Okay? So don't get too excited about how that matches up and rolls. But I am telling you right now, guys, we are right there. We are right there. And I'm excited for where we are right there. So will this work out? Let me move this on over because I don't know. I don't know if this is going to work out. But I can tell you, look at this. You see that pattern? You see that pattern? Things are working themselves out. So we want this frat, we want this parabola to hold. And I'm gonna let's zoom in real quick and then we're gonna move on. Auto that, boom. Okay. It's too close. I guess I'm gonna have to do 45 minutes. We want this parabola to hold. Right here. So if this holds, we're going to we want to work our way up, but we do not want to break below the 64 and come down because then this will become back testing. We'll start to back test that parabola. Okay. 
And if we back, if we break down and back test that parabola, it's kind of going to be even more elongated. Now we have not hit 60. We still haven't hit 62 cents, 62 and a half cents. So I called that as a possibility a while ago, right? Um, all the way down to 58 cents. These are some that we've been looking at for a while where it's more the please don't hit targets, right? We don't want those to hit when we're trying to get filthy, <laughs> filthy rich with XRP in a sense, right? For long-term holders. But if you're a day trader, you're a swing trader, you got to do what the charts show you. And even though this has been a really long TA video today, kind of show you we're on the brink. Everything is like right there. The correction has happened, right? It's pulled back down. See Bitcoin, well, look at that. Bitcoin pulled right down into the area that I wanted it to pull down to, right to that back test perfectly. Question is right here, do we hold? Are we holding right here? And that's what I would like. That's what I would like to do so much. Let me see here real quick. I'm just gonna, are you not connected? Maybe a battery, maybe the battery's dead in that. Okay, so we're gonna last that and we're just gonna see if we can make it, if we can make it through that. Yeah, my battery's dead on my, so I'm gonna do something crazy here. I don't have an, I didn't put all my password in to, I'm actually trying to catch, I'm gonna try to catch that bounce right now. Let's see, order filled. Okay, I'm gonna to try to catch this bounce right now for a long, my stop loss, I'm gonna go ahead and make, let me see if I can bring this up, just to let you guys know live on this video, I gotta move this up here so I can get a stop loss in here. Let's see, what is 394088? Uh, that's 15% on that, 25, 4, 39.4. Okay, you know what? I'll do a little gamble. We'll go right here. Even though I feel like this is a back test to here, 39.3. Just a little bit, just to see what happens. <clears throat> see if I can catch a bounce here. That's all that is. I wouldn't recommend doing that right now, but that's for me to try to catch a bounce. And I margin trade again, so I'm already up 3.91%. Um, so that's what I want to see. If we can get this whole area to bounce, I have, I like, we have, and let's look at XRP. Look at that. Bounce right off of, the point one four, uh, yep, uh, point four one four. That's what we want to see. An amazing bounce there. Now we're going to range between that and sixty six two. So let me see something here and see if I can just get just a little bit, just a little involved here. Not not a lot. I just want to be a little involved. I just want to be a little involved in these long trades. <clears throat> now that we've had that pullbacks, so. With that said, I think we're gonna call that for the day. Um, again, my stop losses is, is right down here. So if this comes down here and gets it, we're out, but I'm gonna try again right here at 38.8. So that is my thought process today. That is what I am seeing today. Uh, everything is, yeah, I, you know what? Sometimes you just gotta long when you see it. You, you gotta buy when it's red. And that's what I'm doing right now. Not catching a falling stick. Uh, I'm looking at, you know, if I, if I bought here, I think that would be falling. So you got to see what I do. Hey, this is what it happens. We're looking for a turnaround, possible pullback all the way down here. That's why we go ahead and just set a little stop loss. Let it be. If it goes down, it is what it is. So that is my thought process. What are you guys trading right now? What are your thought processes? We're going to talk about Axie here in a second on the, on the gaming topics and break that down for NFT gaming. So I will dive into that. But that's it for long sum, short sum. Make sure you guys do the like, subscribe, comment, do those things. Let me know what you're thinking. Because when you trade, it's a risky day. And when everything is, it's a risky thing, right? So there's a lot of news going on right now, positive and negative. So you be the one that watches out for you. I don't even know what the heck that meant. <laughs> All right, guys, that is the end of long sum, short sum. Let's go ahead and uh, get out of here, guys. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Please make sure you like, subscribe, share this 
video, subscribe to this channel, and do the thing that people do on social media, at Twitter, at TikTok, you know, New Creation Capital. Let us know, guys. Thanks so much. I hope you guys have a great day. Later, guys.